Okay, so um, an interesting thing that we can do with that RNA is something called alternative splicing. So one gene can actually code for many different proteins, and that is because it can be depending on what exons are expressed. So we can cut out certain exons, just like an intron, depending on what kind of polypeptide or protein we need to make, and this is called exon skipping. So here we can see we have our, well, our DNA, our gene turned into an RNA. We add our cap and our tail, and we can take out the different introns and have this that will go on to make a certain protein. But we can also use a different one. So in this case, it is not using exon number three, but it is using exon four. And then in this version, we are using exon three, but not exon four. So because of that little change, we're kind of like reusing segments of that RNA um, sequence to make a different protein that has a different function. This is called alternative splicing. Okay, um, this is caused by regulatory proteins, so different proteins will come in and signal that splices them to discard or keep an exon, and they can also signal to keep introns as well. So um, that's how this happens. We don't have to get into all the technical things of how it exactly happens, but just know that it happens in the general idea. So our DNA codes for over 20,000 genes, but since each gene can make more than one protein, it allows us to make many, many more proteins than just that 20,000. Okay, so let's get into types of RNA. So we talked about mRNA, messenger RNA. That's usually what we're gonna talk about when we're making um, a protein because it's going from DNA to RNA and then RNA to protein. But we also have, um, oh yeah, so that's the genetic instructions used by the ribosomes to synthesize those proteins. We also have something called tRNA or transfer RNA. And we'll talk more about this when we get into our next section about how um, the proteins are made in trans, um, translation, but they're going to actually be folded in a slightly different shape. It makes a weird shape like this, and this is going to be bringing the correct amino acid to the ribosome for protein synthesis. And then we can also have our RNA, which is ribosomal RNA, and it functions as a part of the ribosome itself. So you can see here we have the ribosome, and it's got some RNA inside of it. So um, all of this RNA will be transcribed in the same way. It just has different purposes after it's made. Some of it goes on to be, make protein, some of it is used to make the protein, and some of it is used to make a ribosome that will make a protein. So it's all related to protein synthesis, but they have different roles and jobs. There are also some differences in transcription between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Um, so prokaryotes um, all of this is going to happen in the cytoplasm because we don't have a nucleus. So we'll have transcription, we'll make our RNA, um, and then they'll go to a ribosome and have translation happening. There also is not this RNA editing, um, no introns that are removed, because um, it's just a much simpler organism. Um, and this also is going to occur while the mRNA strand is being made, we can have translation happening. So since transcription and translation in prokaryotes are happening in the same space, the cytoplasm, we can start making an RNA. And as that RNA is being made and it's coming off the DNA, it can already be being used to make a protein. Um, there's also no transcription factors for that initial step. So just a much more simplified version. Eukaryotes, though, that's what we've been talking about. Normally, it's in the nucleus. We have that editing um, with the introns, the alternative splicing. Um, that translation occurs in the cytoplasm. Um, RNA must leave that nucleus in order to do that, and we need transcription factors to bind to the RNA polymerase, or it needed for that RNA polymerase to bind to initiate transcription. So this is kind of the main one we've been talking about, but just a much more simplified version with prokaryotes. Okay, that's it for transcription. Hope this is helpful. Bye, guys.